big week here in Dallas. In addition to the Jackets being here, Cowboys have moved on after a wild card victory. And of course, next Monday night, these two guys are going to be involved in televising the national championship. We know they are familiar faces to you, Kirk Herbstreet, Joey Galloway. Guys, uh, thanks for joining us here tonight. And uh, Kirk, uh, I know you watch each and every game on Fox Sports yeah. Ohio. you got to be pleased with the way the club's playing right well, now. It's great. It, you know, obviously, a slow start with all the injuries, but the month of December gets everybody excited. 10-1-1. One, and one. Everybody's getting healthier. and It's amazing to watch this team when they're at full strength. They can compete with anybody. Now, Joey, uh, I know that you spent a lot of time here during the football season busy, not getting an opportunity. But once that football season ends, Monday, you get a chance to watch a little more Blue Jackets hockey. Absolutely. I've been traveling this season. When you're low men on a totem pole, I mean, you're out of town, you know, five days out of the week. And soon as college football ends, that's when I have my chance to become a, a Blue Jackets fan and get out to watch some games. Now, Herbie, I know you can uh, certainly handle replays when it comes to college football. We're going to get a look at the first two goals. And there's a bit of a story here because on the power play goal, one of uh, Kirk's closest friends is Ryan Johansson. And you told me to pass on to him. You wanted a couple of goals. Yeah. Let's get a look at the highlights here right now where Snooski gets us started. Well, it's, you know, the power play looked like it was going to run out of time, but the slap shot there with just a few seconds left was great to see. And then that's just insane. Top shelf from Johansson like that as he's leaning and falling away from the shot was a beautiful shot. All right. How's that? That was excellent. <laughs> don't give up your daytime no, job, I'm though. Not. I'm not. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's talk about the national yeah. championship, guys. It's going to be a great football game. It is. I mean, Ohio State, the momentum, the confidence that they gained in beating Alabama is obvious. Uh, now they get a chance to take on this Temple of Oregon. Marcus Mariota won the Heisman. They blew out Florida State. I just cannot wait to see Ohio State, their defensive line against that Mariota-led offense. And, of course, Cardell Jones has become one of the amazing stories in college football the last two weeks. Of the year. Yeah, the contrast between Alabama and Oregon couldn't be any wider yeah. in college football. And we've talked about the accomplishments of this team, but what a step to take to number one beat Alabama and then get up yeah. again and prepare for a team like Oregon that's going to be completely different with the speed, not as physical as the Alabama team, and just a different quarterback matchup for the entire defense to try to slow down. We got time for one more question here, and I want to get back to hockey and the yeah. Blue Jackets with you. And you want a shout out here for somebody watching tonight. Oh, yeah, I got I to say hi to my, my eight-year-old Chase who's watching. He's got his hockey nets out playing knee hockey. He does it every game. So he's watching Chase. They're going to win tonight, buddy. Don't worry. They're going to win. Did you have a quick thought again? About I, yeah, I was just going to say that I think that Urban Meyer's done his best job of coaching this year. You think about all the adversity that they faced this year. Losing Braxton Miller 10 days before the season started. He's a four-year starting quarterback. JT Barrett becomes a Heisman Trophy candidate. You lose him in Michigan. I think you throw in Cardell Jones who hasn't taken a meaningful snap and he leads you to a Big Ten championship and then a semifinal win. Urban and Tom Herman and Ed Warner up front have done an amazing job for Ohio State. Should be a great game Monday night. Guys, thanks for coming by. Thank, Thank you. you.